How Expert! Top 10 Cello Playing Tips How Expert publishes quick how-to guides on all topics from A to Z by everyday experts. Visit howexpert.com to learn more. Make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more How Expert Top 10 videos in the future. Moving on, let's talk about the How Expert Top 10 Cello Playing Tips. Number 10. Find the right teacher and instrument. First things first is to find a cello and a great teacher. If you're new to the instrument and you're not entirely sure if the cello is right for you, it's best to rent it first. Plenty of places offer special rates if you choose to take lessons and rent from them. The most notable place is a chain of music stores called Music and Arts. This instrument can get expensive, so make sure you're really into it before you dive in head first financially. As far as choosing an instrument past that, size is important. If you're a kid or particularly short, a three-quarter size is the way to go. Full size is what you should get otherwise. When it comes to finding a teacher, that can be much harder. Like any private teacher, you need to find someone who teaches in the best way for you. The only way to really do that is through trial and error. Number nine, learn scales and arpeggios. Once you've found your instrument and teacher, the things you need to focus on next are scales and arpeggios. Mastering these early on familiarizes you with your instrument. You'll be able to learn actual music faster in the long run because you'll be more familiar with how each note is supposed to sound. Arpeggios and scales are important for developing your audition skills, aka your pitch. Having good pitch is important for any musical endeavor, especially if you're learning an instrument. The downside is that you'll most likely spend a lot of time on these. Be prepared to spend at least three to six months dedicated to just scales and arpeggios. It's imperative to become comfortable with your instrument. Number eight, practice with a metronome. Introducing a metronome as soon as possible helps improve your rhythm astronomically. It's also hard to introduce one after practicing without one for a while. Keeping up with that even tick-tock is a skill all in itself, but learning how to do that when all you're doing is scales and arpeggios does your future self a massive favor. The metronome can even help you if you're struggling with a rhythm, as well as help you practice more difficult rhythm patterns in the future. Number seven, listen to a piece of music often. When it comes to try your first piece, listen to the piece as often as you can. Learning how it's supposed to sound makes it easier to learn how to play it correctly. And it can help you pinpoint areas like odd melodies or intricate rhythm patterns that you'll need to spend more time on. Number six, break down the piece of music. Breaking the piece into parts helps you learn and memorize it easier too. Yo-Yo Ma did this as a child and it helped him work out the technical parts of a piece, the notes and rhythm before worrying about the art. It's like how smaller bites of food help you digest your meal better. Smaller bites of music help you play better. Number five, focus on playing correctly, not playing fast. Speed is not as important as playing the correct notes, especially in the beginning. It's really hard to relearn a piece once you've practiced it wrong, but it's easy to speed up a piece you know inside out. Practicing slow sets you up to be technically perfect. And remember that practice is for nobody else except you. You don't need to strive to please an audience or bring justice to a piece when you're just practicing alone in your room or with your teacher. So slow down and learn how to play correctly. Number four, don't be afraid to make mistakes. That being said, don't be so focused on perfection that you become hesitant to make mistakes. It's inevitable that you'll make some mistakes learning anything cello is no exception. Don't be afraid to take risks because those risks will, at worst, help you learn and become a better cellist. A lot of people look at string musicians and assume that their technical perfection came without years of mistakes, but that isn't the case. Even some of the greats say Yo Yo Ma still mess up, and that's part of what gives life to a performance. Chase perfection but realize that you'll never quite make it and feel free to make some missteps here and there. Number three, remember why you're learning the cello. Like any string instrument, it takes many, many hours of hard work and dedication to get good. The beginning is always particularly hard because it's so easy to compare yourself to people who have been playing longer and sound better. 
It can get discouraging playing for months and still only knowing scales. That's why you need to know your why. If your goal is to be a serious cellist, you'll need some motivation. Whatever your reason is, find a way to remind yourself of it when you need it the most, like a poster of a cellist or a composer you admire, or a playlist of songs that you want to play someday. Anything that keeps that fire. Number two, experiment with other genres. Once you've moved past your first piece, don't be afraid to experiment with other genres and styles. You can play more than classical music with the cello. One Grammy-nominated cellist, Tina Gao, has even made her career out of playing heavy metal and contemporary cello in soundtracks for movies. You've probably heard her music without even knowing it, as she played the theme for 2017's Wonder Woman and The Circle of Life in 2019's The Lion King, as well as many more movies. Cello is everywhere. It's just not usually in the forefront of popular music, so feel free to try something that's more recent than Bach. Number one, remember that this will take a lot of time. You cannot expect to be a world-class level overnight, or even a few years. A lot of people start playing their instruments early on too, so if you're not one of those people, don't feel too bad when you see someone your age or younger playing better than you. They've just been playing longer. Talent is cool, but one of the best and worst parts of learning the cello is that it's mostly technique and artistry. Anyone can learn the techniques, and hopefully the artistry comes with time and life experience. If you liked our video, be sure to click like and subscribe for more How Expert Top 10 videos on all topics from A to Z in the future. Also, let us know what other celebrity or any topic you want us to do a How Expert Top 10 video in the future in the comments below. Thank you, have an amazing day, and take care. How Expert publishes quick how-to guides on all topics from A to Z by everyday experts. Visit howexpert.com to learn more.